Welcome back to my channel. In this lesson video, we're going to talk about how to finish your theoretical framework in one hour. Yep, kayang-kayang tapusin ang theoretical framework in one hour. I believe alam nyo na kung gaano kahalaga yung theoretical framework. Siyempre, hindi pwedeng mabuo yung ating research, yung ating study ng walang support theory or theories. Okay, so tandaan lang natin yung double T and double C. T, the first T stands for the theory. Ano yung title ng theory? Yung second T ay para sa theorist. Sino nga ba yun? Halimbawa, yung SLA or Second Language Acquisition Theory. Siyempre, ang theorist nun ay si Stephen Krashen. Kailangan mabanggit natin silang dalawa. Kung present din lang or kung known talaga kung sino yung nag-theorize nung theory na yun. Okay, katulad ng multiple intelligences. Kapag binanggit ang multiple intelligences, alam natin na yan ay kay Howard Gardner. Okay, so theory, theorists, ano yung double C? Content or contents, and of course, connection. So how is that theory connected to your study? Tips guys sa paggawa ng ating theory, syempre para hindi tayo pa ulit-ulit at kaya nating tapusin in one hour. Tip number one, get the highly relevant. So the highly relevant, maaaring relevant siya pero hindi sobrang relevant. Get the highly relevant one to your study. Tip number two, do not copy everything. Usually kasi kinakopy-paste natin yan. Mula sa source, kinakopy-paste. No, we have to read. And of course, kunin natin, ano nga bang ibig sabihin? Ano yung pinakang gist? No theory na yon yun lang ang ating kukuhain. Kaya hindi pwedeng sa isang theory lang, one whole page ka na, or two pages ka na. Ibig sabihin, kinuha mo lahat, kinapipaste mo yon No, just the gist lang. Number three, connect or justify the theory that you have considered in your study. I-justify mo siya. Bakit siya? Anong kaugnayan niya? Anong construct niya na highly connected sa iyong study? And number four, be sure that it is a theory and not a mere literature. At worst pa minsan, nakukuha lang natin to sa blog. So, kunin talaga natin siya sa tamang reference. Tingnan natin yung halimbawa dito. For example, this study is anchored on the second language acquisition theory by Stephen Krashen. So, ito yung isang halimbawa kung paano natin bubuoin yung paragraph natin. Basically, sa pagsulat ng theory sa mga thesis, ang ginagawa nila ay merong three paragraphs. Ano yung nilalaman ng three paragraphs na yon? So, the first paragraph is the introduction of the theory and the theorist. Second paragraph ay kung ano yung nilalaman ng theory na yon. So, syempre, gist lang. Gaya ng nabanggit ko kanina, wag i-copy-paste lahat. Kunin yung pinakang thought at iyon ang isulat sa ating paper. At pangatlo, syempre sa paragraph ay kung ano yung kaugnayan ng theory doon sa ating current study or present study. So basically, tatlong paragraphs lang yan. Pero sa mga journals, mapapansin natin ang explanation ng theory karaniwan ay one paragraph lang. Pwera na lang kung may iba pa siyang mga contents na hina-highlight. So let's take a look at this example too. So we have that one already. Dito, multiple intelligences by, sino yun? is the, for example, theory considered in this study. So, yung citation, wag natin kakalimutan kung saan natin nakuha yung theory na yon. Although, for example, ang multiple intelligences ay kay Howard Gardner, baka nakuha natin siya sa ibang aklat or sa ibang reference. So, kukunin natin yon at isa-cite natin. Ang tawag dito ay in-text citation. And definitely, itong in-text citation na to, may counterpart ito sa hubandang hulihan ng paper yung references part. So, in the second paragraph, it said that its important constructs for the current study are, so ito na yung mga nilalaman. Another example is, to support the blank, sabihin natin dito kung ano yung focus ng ating research, and then ito na yung theory. To support the blank, the spiral curriculum theory by Jerome Bruner, don't forget the citation, was used. Bruner explained that, 
ano na yung nilalaman ng theory, ilagay natin dito para maiwasan natin yung this is study, employ, this is study, consider the and then magsisimula na naman tayo ng next sentence, this is study. So, we could have variations so that we avoid that redundancy. Another example is blank is a theoretical framework that includes the anong theory yun? Isight mo siya. So, these are some examples of how we're going to open or introduce our paragraphs. Okay, what are the common theories that we are using frequently or usually? Number one, Connectionism Theory by Edward Thorndike. Two, Cognitive Load Theory by John Sweller. Schema Theory by Sir Frederick Bartlett. Schema Theory by Richard Anderson. Five, Dual Coding Theory by Alan Pavio. 6. Theory of Cognitive Development by Jean Piaget 7. Social Learning Theory by Albert Bandura 8. Zone of Proximal Development, More Eligible Other, Scaffolding and Social Learning Theories by Lev Vygotsky We also have Principles of Instruction by Barack Rosenshine Cognitive Tools Theory by Karen Egan Domains of Learning by Benjamin Bloom Conditions of Learning Theory by Robert Mills Gagne. Spiral Curriculum Theory by Jerome Brunner. Hierarchy of Needs by Abraham Maslow. Multiple Intelligences by Howard Gardner. Experiential Theory by David Kolb. Sensory Theory by Duggan Laird. Humanist Theory by Carl Rogers. Relational or Instrumental Understanding by Richard Kemp. Second Language Acquisition Theory by Stephen Krashen. Language Acquisition Device, or LAD, Theory by Noam Chomsky, and Communicative Competence Theory by Del Himes. And these are just 22 in the list, so marami pa pong iba. Uh, Siyempre, minsan maghahanap-hanap din tayo, but definitely, madali lang hanapin ang theory. Okay, we just have to be very patient and have the determination to finish our theoretical framework within an hour kasi kayang-kaya naman talaga. Okay, there you have it guys. Sana nakatulong ang lesson video na ito. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell for more lesson uploads, practical tips, and anything educational. Have fun learning!